So here we've now finished. I've placed the rest of the ceiling joists that have only got the three controlling nodes at the front. We've got uh, the whole arrangement there now. Um, I might go down to my sunglasses and reset everything turned back on. Um, if I if I also go massing in sight and then uncheck show mass, it turns the mass element off that we used as the guide to create everything from. And we've got our final room laid out with um, both our custom our custom window with a trust arrangement in the back of it, custom curtain wall, um, and then our custom shaped curved ceiling rafters uh, using adaptive components for a lot of that and pattern based families. Uh, I just might finish off this video then if I have a look at lower level, um, show you that I have created um, a camera view. You can just create a camera view and click in a location where you want to set up a perspective view and, and then look towards that. I'll look towards the direction. I sort of establish my location there. And there's my viewing angle there. I have already done this. And after you do it, if you've um, ever then signed your 3D views, uh, floor plans under 3D views here. And there it is, right click and you can go show camera. And that's the camera view that I created there. And there's my 3D view. Okay, well, that's the tutorials in the um, adaptive components that you can do. Any sort of adaptive type geometry that you want to click to other points that you have in a model. And also we did our pattern based curtain wall family up there in the front. Okay, that's it for this series of tutorials.